There's some more coming over here to our left. Oh, look at that. We just need the big boy. I think I'll just keep looking through the, through the scope instead of the box. Yeah. You never know, man. There's one bull in there. He's a pretty good bull. He's a six by. Might be pushing 300 inches. It's your call. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think it's quite what we're looking for. It's, uh, I say let's keep going. I really. That sounds good. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait it out, man. I'll hunt it out. We've got time. I want to look for something really good. So. We'll check out and see if we can find some more. My big game hunting experience started later in life. I was raised by an avid fly fisherman, a waterfowl, and upland bird hunter. Steve Ferris proudly calls Nebraska home and waterfowl hunting over decoys his first love. But he's also dove head first into big game hunting now, just like he did with his chart busting music career a few years ago when he played lead guitar for the likes of Mr. Mister, Eddie Money, and Madonna. When Steve's not sitting in a recording studio these days, you can bet he's planning his next duck or deer hunt. Ed, we are covered up in elk tracks. It's amazing. And uh, you know, just to look at a path, my mind immediately goes, oh, the deer have been all over here because I'm used to deer. But with the elk, you right away know the difference because because of a couple things, obviously the hoof print, but other than that, you just immediately know they're elk because of what? The stride, they have a longer stride. They knock a wider path. Should we go see what's been knocking down those wider paths? Let's see if there's some horns on that <laughs> path. Nothing really, nothing really in there to shoot that I can see. No, let's just, let's just clip a couple yeah, more feet. Come down below. Yeah. There's a big bull right on the fence line. See him looking right at us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, heck, he's nice, isn't he? Yeah, that's the biggest bull of the bunch in there. These are those moments of you might be sorry later, but you know, man, you, you can't shoot the big ones if you shoot the small ones first. He's no small one, but he's right on that edge. I wish it's always an easier decision if it's like really small or if it's really big. He's right in between. It's great when you hunt in a place and you can turn down animals. That's that's when you know you're in a good spot. I think we can do better than that. He looks like he's about a he's a nice six by, but he's probably about a 280, 290 bull. I'll tell you, in trophy hunting, it's a matter of you know you play the odds. You might walk away not shooting a thing. I mean that's that's the trade-off. You might walk away empty-handed, but you got to love it walking away empty-handed too. There's no way we're gonna sneak and get 200 yards from him and get a shot. You go, man, if we wait, he goes to bed down, we may never see him again. this morning here about 200 yards so we're gonna go is over it, isn't this the field we saw them in right over here yep right down below us here they went over the ridge and they're bedded down here in moonshine gulch we're gonna go over to the top here and set up and catch them coming out moonshine gulch Sounds let's go get good. It. you bet following you you know these guys from montana hunt and fish company are great good guys fun guys know their game know their animals know where to go put you on animals they do it all right what a great guy Ed is, just loving the hunt. You can tell he knows his, knows his deal, knows his land, knows the game, knows the animal, got eyes like an eagle. It has come up over this ridge. We've got a good wind for the bulls coming out this way. The wind would be coming with them. I think we're hoping we can cut them off in this saddle here. And the snow is just starting to come in. It's beautiful, beautiful. Late season hunting, who knows what mother nature is going to throw at you. Sometimes it's a lot of snow, you just have to get tough. Get tough and keep at it. It's going to pay off. Ed, what do you think we should do? We're going to move. We're going to move up a little bit and see if we can get a little closer and get a little bit more out of the weather. Do you think we should try to rob any 7-Elevens while we're doing this? It wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. Let's get some coffee. All right. There is something really bitter cold about being November in Montana and the winds are blowing about 20 and it's like 20 below. And it, you can't prepare for it. I think they'll feed out, but I think they're gonna feed out pretty slowly. 
And we waited and waited and waited and we waited and we waited. And they were obviously going to come through that saddle far after dark. Do you think we'll come back to the same spot? Maybe come in around that side? Yeah, we might try to come back here. Exactly. Snow comes down all night. We get up the next morning and it's still snowy. And we got searching again and we're looking for that bull. And we find lots of elk. We go out and we get up to a place they call the umbrella tree where they can perch and see everything. And you can. You can see 360 degrees. You can see hills and mountainsides. And we look and we see a couple elk this direction, that direction, and we see a bull. Oh, your bull. Let me get him in a spotting scope. I got down on my knees and I looked through the spotting scope and I looked and I said, man, he's seven on one side. He said, he is. I said, check it out. He's got good mass, doesn't he? He's got super mass, big, long, long beamed. Absolutely. That's a nice bull right there. Let's kill that bull. Okay. Let's try it every way to kill that bull. Well, we got to try to get him, man. And I, uh, <laughs> if he gets in a good spot, I'm not one for waiting because you never know what will happen. Yeah, yeah. That's the bull. We got to go get this bull. He was big. He looked great. And it was time to put on a hunt. Steve, I think we ought to go down to this next ridge down here, get about a half mile closer, and watch these elk and see if we can make a move on them. Or if we put them in a good spot to bed, we'll come back in this evening. The scenario can change minute by minute. And I always say if you've got a bull and you feel like you can capitalize and you can get a quality shot at that animal, you need to do something to make it happen right there at the time. Might be able to get down here to about 400 yards in the timber and shoot across at that bull. But you know, I don't think I can get any closer because if you get down any further, you're not going to see him. But he's in a saddle. With the weather the way it is, there's no way we're going to sneak and get 200 yards from him and get a shot. I don't need to be 200. He's just such a good bull. I don't know. I just, I would say, let's see if we can get the my odds up. Let's see if we can get the 300 and get a shot at him. You go, man, if we wait, he goes to bed down, we may never see him again. The thing we do know is we're looking at him right now. There he is. So maybe we should put a move on him. The good thing is we were on top of a hillside and it was pretty, pretty highly timbered. So we slowly crept down through the timber. It is quiet, uh, no wind. So every little step on this snow is making noise. We just kind of ease down. We should set up here. This is a good spot right here. Get another one in him. I hit him. <laughs> Smoked him. <laughs> I got a seven by, brother. What I a got shot, a seven buddy. by. I don't even know what to say. That's exciting stuff, man. Great oh. shooting. That was a stock, buddy. That was a hell of a stock. That was that was elk hunting, wasn't it? That's elk hunting right there. Man, I, I said to you, I said I want that elk. That's the one I want. We got him. Good job, man. Yeah, stock. Thanks for taking me right down there. Right, buddy. I can't wait to get over there. Of course, it's about an hour. Well, about a day and a half walk to get there, probably. Do right? that. We'll have to. We'll run up and you think we'll go and, back go over, go back around, and come around. That's going to be the easier deal, isn't it? And we'll get down there, and then we'll hike up and get them. It'll take a little while. But... Lead the way. You've led the way so far, All man. Right. Way to done go. a good job, Ed. I'm into it. I might be passing you up, brother. <laughs> and there's nothing 
like that feeling of when you walk up and there he is, and you've done it. It's an accomplishment. <laughs> Beautiful bull. Not bad, man. I mean, he's a gorgeous elk, and I, I feel so fortunate. And uh, what a great animal. What a regal animal looking up there. Majestic, standing on that mountainside and being able to take that shot and, and watch him fall. There's just a feeling of, my God, it's done. Got him. <laughs>